Howdy, everybody. My name's John Brightstar. Me and my daddy are gonna teach y'all the ways of the Wild West. Look! Do you think it's lost? Looks like Megan's rustling your cowboy. Always wanted to we saw this horse when we were riding today. Do you think it might be a stray? The horse's name is Belle. A phantom horse who roams the countryside. They say anyone who tries to tame her will be cursed. Only Belle can choose the rider to replace her beloved first owner. That's supposed to be the mysterious phantom horse? Veronica! You're probably cursed. What? You followed Stevie when she went after the phantom horse. I think being lovesick has eaten away your brain. Well, how come you're covered in an itchy red rash and I'm fine? <gasps> Say hello to the newest member of the Pine Hollow family. Stevie, can I get a picture of you and, um, Belle? So that's where you got to. Well, is she going to be OK? I'm not going to lie to you. It looks as if Belle's had a rough time of it. Meaning? Well, as near as I can say, she was probably once a trained saddle horse. But as a result of neglect, she's malnourished, her feet haven't been trimmed for months, her teeth need floating. And did you see the scabby patches on her back and neck? It's probably rain rot. But she's going to be okay though, isn't she? With time and a lot of love and attention. You think you can handle that? Of course I can. How could anyone have abandoned such a beautiful horse? It must have been a monster. <laughs> Stephanie Lake, a long-time rider at Pine Hollow Stables, says finding Belle was like a dream come true. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Stephanie, have I got a surprise for you. I wish you didn't have to go home. <laughs> Me too. At least you didn't babble about him so much when he was here. I hope he writes to me. Can he write? Why do you say that? Well, he can't talk properly. You were so hard on my boyfriends. I've had better conversations with my horse. Oh, I hate this. Scratch my back, Christy, please. Where are you going? Get back here! Christy, I need you. Hey, Comanche, look at Belle. Doesn't she look beautiful now? All clipped and clean. Don't forget, he likes <laughs> apples and jelly beans, but no... Black ones, yeah, I know. You've only told me like a million times. Sorry. Have a good ride. <laughs> you miss Comanche, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird seeing him with another rider. It's okay. <laughs> What's wrong? It's the saddle. It's okay. Everything's okay. I'll turn her out, put her in the paddock, and let her run for a while. <laughs> Christy, would you wait up? My mum's getting me tickets to the big concert at the Coliseum. Want to come? Are they good seats? Please, where else would I sit? I bet we can get backstage passes too. Whoa! What happened? I tripped, Brainiac. How? <sighs> Help me up and I'll draw you a diagram. <sighs> These old things are too big for me. What happened to your new boots? <sighs> I lost one of them. Where? It wouldn't be lost if I knew where. You see, you shouldn't hang out with these hicks. Your IQ's through the floor. The tripping and the boots. I think they're related. 
Well, duh, I just said that. No, it's the curse. We agreed not to mention that again. It's ridiculous. I know I've been kind of busy with Bella, but I'll make it up to you. How about we go for a nice long run on the beach? Stevie, quick, it's Belle. Hi, Christy. John, why are you here? Oh, Max arranged for me to stay while Dad's in hospital. Fantastic. Where's your accent? And your clothes. Oh, that's all part of the show. You know, the Western Clinic. <laughs> this is me. That's amazing. I mean, that's cool. <sighs> Red's been trying to bring her back to the barn. I've been trying to bring her in for half an hour. She keeps running away. Has anyone seen a very expensive leather riding boot in... Nothing. It's just... Oh, never mind. Okay. Ow! It's the curse of the phantom horse. What do you mean, Veronica? Belle, she's cursed. Ever since I scared away that dumb mule, I can't do anything right. I lost a boot. I trip over things that aren't there, and poison ivy. That hardly sounds catastrophic. Well, what about the concert tickets? My mum always gets me front row seats at the Coliseum, and this time she tells me she can't even get me in the door. I see, and you think this is because of a curse? Well, what else could it be? Life? Veronica, <laughs> there's no such thing as a curse. I hate these stupid no, boots. Don't get so angry, Veronica. Luck doesn't come to angry people. But the 
whole world's against me. That's not true. The world's a good place. And the boot will come back. When you deserve it. You okay? I just saw the most amazing thing. What was that? I saw Stevie with Belle just now. And they were joined somehow, eye to eye, by something so strong. Hello? Anyone there? Yeah. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Where can I find Stephanie Lake? <laughs> Poor Belle. She's so afraid of everyone. I don't even want to think what made her so scared of people. Whatever it was, she's safe now. That's her. Stevie, this is uh, Chelsea Owens. She thinks Belle is her missing horse. She can't be. Well, look at the brand. There's no mistaking it. That's my blackie. Her name's Belle. And how do we know she's not the one who abandoned her? Well, this is the police report that I filed when the horse was stolen. Well, she's mine now. I found her. Stevie, I'm sorry. No! Maybe she was yours before, but she didn't choose you. She chose me. Stevie, maybe we should go into Max's office and... No! Listen, thank you for looking after her. I appreciate it, but I'd like to take my horse home now, if you don't mind. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do, Stevie. This horse legally belongs to Miss Owens. Belle's really gone. Maybe Chelsea will let you visit Belle. I don't want to visit her. I want Belle here with me all the time. At least Chelsea seems to love Belle and treats her well. Do you think? Blackie, let's get you back in your sleep. <coughs> Don't do this to me. You've been doing this all morning. <coughs> oh, stupid horse! Come back here, you rotten nag! And it's all my fault. If I hadn't written that article. Oh, you can't blame yourself. Chelsea legally owns that horse. She has every right to take her. There's nothing we can do about it. I guess. At least Stevie's still got Comanche, right? Well, yes and, uh, no. I told Sam he could ride Comanche in lessons. Oh, no. Well, it was time Sam moved to a more advanced horse. I thought Stevie had Belle. I mean, she can still ride Comanche, just not as much as she used to. There has to be another horse that Sam can ride. Well, I don't think it'll make Stevie any happier. She's got to get over Belle first. I have to do something. I have to find some way to make it up to her. Like what? Make some phone calls. How will that help? Christy! Christy, are you in here? Oh, there you are, Christy. Oh. Didn't you hear me calling you? Oh, I guess I was daydreaming. So, I bet we have a lot in common. What do you like to do? Oh, lots of stuff. Riding, mountain biking, and there's my drums. <laughs> right, how could I forget about your drums? I'm gonna teach you everything I know about the Western Quarter Horse. <sighs> Get why you brought me here. You'll see. Chelsea! What are you doing here? We came to see Belle. I mean, Blackie. Stevie wanted to say goodbye. Where is she? Oh, don't look at me. She broke out of a paddock and ran off. 
Why didn't you go after her? Oh, that mare's crazy. She could have trampled me. She's just scared. And who could blame her after all she's been through? Belle! Stevie, wait. What's happening? Shh. Christy, where are you? Hey, is that John Brightstar? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's visiting for the weekend. He's been looking all over for you. Me? It sounded like he was looking for you. Sure, because I told him I'd look for you. That's right, he can't stop talking about you. Megan this and Megan that. I think he likes you. You said he was leading me on. I was just checking him out, making sure he was good enough for you. You deserve the best, and that's John. Do you know much about Western Quarter Horses? <laughs> no. Perfect. So anyway, it's called the Western Quarter Horse because in Kentucky, they used to race a quarter mile. <laughs> a quarter mile, quarter <laughs> horse, get it? <laughs> a quarter mile, <laughs> you get it? It's a good one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you see, he's totally different from donkeys, right? Well, it's no use. That horse is long gone. No, she's not. Belle's around here somewhere. She's just hiding, that's all. She's scared. Belle! Come on, Belle! It's okay, it's me. I won't hurt you. Come on, Stevie, she could be anywhere. <laughs> Belle! Belle! Now, that mare's wild. There's no telling what she'll do. Stevie, be careful. It's okay. Whoa, it's okay. Thanks for catching Blackie for me. Her name's Belle. Not Blackie, what an awful name. My horse. I'll call her anything I please. And you can get off my property right now. Both of you. I think you should give Belle to the girl. Because they belong together. Who asked your opinion? I'm a journalist. I'd give it anyway. You're trespassing. I'm calling the police. Well, I'm sure that they'll be interested in my opinion about your run of bad luck. What is it now? Um, four horses stolen in a row. But then there's that good luck of those insurance payouts. Why, well, I bet you've actually got a form with Blackie's name on it half filled out already. If the police aren't interested in my opinion, I'm sure that my readers will be. Come on, Stevie. Let's go. John, going home so soon? Yeah, yeah, um, I'm needed back on the farm. Um, look, I, I just... Look, I think you're really nice and everything, and, and, um... You just want to be friends? Well, do you think you'll be okay with that? I'll get over it someday. <laughs> See you later, Christy. Bye, Veronica. He dumped you for her? I set it up. There is something wrong with you, Veronica. Accept it. Wrong! Wrong! Oh. No luck. Mrs. Reg, do you ever think that the whole world's against you? Everything has a reason behind it. I've done nothing to deserve all this bad luck. Have you considered that the world isn't against you? It's you against yourself. 
You want everything to be perfect, including yourself. <laughs> Leave that for heaven. It's not going to happen here. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Reg. Your boot. Looks like your luck's changing already. five-star restaurant? It's more like five billion stars. You know that story you told about Belle? Is it true? Well, John and his dad say it is. And they spend time up in the mountains. They've seen Belle quite a few times. Have you seen her? No. I haven't. But you believe it? even though you've never seen it? Well, nothing is true if you don't believe it. I can't believe you just said that. And me sitting right next to you. You're so full of surprises. Do you? That's so cool. I know. It was so great to see her one last time. Do you think Belle will remember me? Why don't you ask her if he's so? <laughs> what are you doing here? Did something happen to Belle? Is she all right? She's fine. Remember you said a horse has to choose its owner. Well, it looks like Belle's made her choice. You. Now, I want you to go and tell that journalist woman what I've done. Deborah. Yep. Why? Her opinion is important to me. Enough because I've got Belle, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. You guys are gonna love each other. Don't worry, Stevie. You and Belle will be out there jumping in no time. That's it for today, gang. Call them out. Your old mule can't keep up, huh? Ignore her. You're just not ready yet. That's right. You just got Belle. You can't jump her yet. If Veronica knew anything about horses, she'd know that. If Veronica cared anything about horses, she wouldn't ignore Garnet like that. Hasn't Veronica learned her lesson yet? I guess not. Let's cool him out. What do you think you're doing? Taking care of your horse. You should try it sometime. Don't touch Garnet! I'm just feeding her a carrot. Something I wouldn't have to do if you gave her a treat once in a while. She's my horse! And I'll do whatever I feel like doing. I know, and you never feel like doing anything except for making people miserable. Shut up! Come on, if you want feed her, I will. Let go! Feed her a carrot! Feed your own horse! Fine, I will. What? <laughs> 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 what did the doctor say? It's 
nothing to worry about. There's pain in your stomach. They're doing some tests. Enough stalling, Max. Out with it. Okay. It may be, just maybe, <clears throat> an ulcer. An ulcer? Maybe. What are you supposed to do until you get the results back? Just watch what I eat and stay away from stress. That's all. That'll be Higgins. Higgins, now that's why you've got an ulcer, because you can't say no. Say no to, um, to what? She's all yours, Max. This is Higgins. You're understaffed as it is. Max, even I know you're too busy to take on another horse. I'll look after him. You know I can handle it, and I work real cheap. That's a great idea. Mum. It's settled. You're hired, Carol. I'll get the rest of his stuff. Exciting happened today? Uh, no. Why? Did you hear something? What about? I, I was thinking maybe we could grab a cold drink together. Yeah, okay. But you might want to freshen up first. Oh. Making fun of me? No, I mean, Carol's gonna pay for this. This is serious. If you don't eat properly and reduce your stress, you'll have another attack. It's my problem, Mum. I'll deal with it. Until it kills you. Please. Just promise me that you'll take more care of yourself. Mrs. Reg says he has to stay away from stress or he'll have an attack. It must be his heart. Heart. Gotta be his heart. This is terrible. We have to make sure Max doesn't get excited about anything. We have to let everyone know. I'll finish, Higgins. You spread the word. Yeah, I thought so. An emergency meeting with the saddle cloak. How pathetic. It was important. What happened? Did a horse sneeze? You wouldn't understand. It's called responsibility, something you obviously don't know anything about. Like you do? You can't do anything by yourself. You're always running to the saddle club for an emergency meeting. I bet you couldn't even go a day without blubbering to them about something. I'm not betting you anything. That's because you know you'd lose. OK, what would your part be? Anything you want. Right. I bet that I can stop talking to Stevie and Lisa for a day. But you can't take care of Granite by yourself with no help. Deal. Loser has to leave Pine Hollow for good. What? Max is gonna be so surprised. I can't wait to see his face when he sees how clean his office is. Here we go. What's going on in there? What are you girls doing in my office? Cleaning. Oh, I think I liked it better before. But we're just trying to help. Thanks, girls. I'll finish up if you don't mind. Scram! about Max. Everyone agreed to help out, except Veronica, of course. Something wrong? OK, well, Stevie and I thought we should meet in the lounge to figure out how we can help Max. You coming? Come on, Carol. Something's up. You can talk to me about it. I always knew she was dumb. Oh, 
just in time. We've got tons of people helping Max out with chores. We're just trying to decide what we can do. Any ideas? Hello, Earth to Carol. Come on, we really need your help. Don't you even care about Max? So what, you're mad at us? Why? What did we do? This is stupid. Go ahead, ignore us, see if we care. Oops, am I interrupting? You weren't just about to say something to the Saddle Club, were you, Carol? I've always found her very stuck up. Now you can see why. At least I can talk to you, Higgins. Did you do something with Higgins? Isn't he your responsibility? I'm just taking care of Garnet. See? Time for an emergency meeting already. Nice of Carol to help out. It's like she doesn't care about Max. Or us. She seems to have no trouble talking to Veronica, though. We didn't even do anything to make her mad. Did we? You know what? Who cares? Let her talk to Veronica. <sighs> Why can't you groom yourself? I'll wash that saddle rug for you, Veronica. It's so filthy, I can't stand it. Uh, that's OK, Mrs. Ray. I can do it. Well, that's kind of you, but uh, I've got all of these to do, so one more's not going to make any difference. Well, thank you. <laughs> but uh, Garnet's tack needs a good clean. It's more than just having a shiny saddle, you know. Dirty tack can be dangerous. Don't worry, Mrs. Ray. I was planning to do that. <laughs> How about now? Well, good idea. <laughs> she realize how much my mother pays for my manicure? What? Ashley. Your tack always looks so good. Thanks. It doesn't take you that long, does it? Not really. That's what I thought. But Melanie didn't believe me. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just that Melanie said you were really slow. She said you couldn't even put a bridle back together by yourself. I can too. That's what I said. I said, that Ashley, she must be one of the best tack cleaners around. But Melanie didn't believe me. You know what you should do? Prove it to her. How? I've almost finished all my tack and I put Diane's bridle back together. See? You're right. If only you had some other dirty tack that you could do. I know, you can do garnets. Didn't Miss Rick tell you to do it? <laughs> oh, I don't mind if you help me out. Besides, what are friends for? Thanks, Veronica. <laughs> I'll go get a drink. Where's Higgins? You know, don't you? I've just been looking after my horse. How would I know? I left Higgins in his stall and now he's not there. What have you done? They're jumping in the top arena. Perhaps someone's trying him out. They'd ask first. Perhaps you should check with the Saddle Club. Stevie and Lisa would do anything to get back at you for giving them the silent treatment. I thought you were getting a drink. I'm on my way! It's OK, Max. I'll take that. What? You shouldn't be pushing heavy things like this around. Brad! Oh, but I should be cleaning it up. No, calm down. It's OK. I'll clean it up. You're right. You will. Oh, good. I was looking for you. How's Higgins? Fine. 
Where is he? Uh, he's, um... Yeah, I was just going to check on him. Oh, great. I'll come with you. Um, no. I mean, uh... You've got way too much to do already. You need to relax. What is with everyone today? Now, come on, let's go see Higgins. Max, I've got something for you. Did my mother make it? No, 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 this is my idea. I think you'll like it. Look, I don't have time at the moment, Deb. I've got to go and check on Higgins. It won't take long. Apple on a stick makes me sick. Makes my heart beat. Cause you are only six. Not because you dare me, not because you clean. Just because he gives the boys behind the magazine. Girls, boys, having fun. Everyone's treating me like an invalid. Did you tell anyone about the tests? No. Mum must have. Okay, so how do you feel? Stupid? Try a little, um, just for me. Deborah, I've never ummed in my life. Mm. Look where it got you, an ulcer. Nothing's confirmed. Yet. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just no wonder the way you're going. And this is your way of relaxing me? You're right. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone with the tape for just a bit. 20 minutes a day is supposed to cure an ulcer in just three weeks. Oh. <gasps> <clears throat> um. Some time on the reassembly, but your polishing time's way better than Melanie's. Really? Oh, yeah. But, oh, never mind. What? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but I think Melanie's a better groomer. No way. It's just that I haven't ever seen you groom a horse before, so I'm not really sure. I'm really good and fast, too. I'll show you. If only there was a horse you could use. What about Garnet? You never groomed her after your lesson. I saw her. She looks terrible. I washed her. She'll be dry by now. I can groom her. Good idea. Makes me sick. Makes my heart beat to 46. Not because it did. You guys, I need your help. Do you hear anyone talking, Lisa? Nope. Me neither. I'm sorry I didn't talk to you before. You totally ignored us. Because I made a bet with Veronica that I wouldn't talk to you all day. What? Why? Because, well, if I win, Veronica has to leave Pine Hollow for good. Way to go, Carol. But if I lose, I have to leave. I can't believe you took the bit. Well, she just got to me. I wanted to get rid of her so bad. I think I can relate. So what are you doing? What if Veronica walks in and sees you with us? You have to go. No, I need your help. Christy. I lost Higgins, and if Max finds out, I'll have a heart attack. You guys go look. I'll keep Max busy. Max! Busy. I think Fergus needs to be watered. Where are you? Mm -hmm. 
there. Very good, Ashley. Much better than Melanie. But you missed a spot. Well, I'll leave you to it. I'll check the stalls again. Don't forget the hooves. But I always do them last. Not today. Not today! Just got to check what feed we ordered. Red, can I have a word? Sure. Has Deborah or Mum said anything to you about my health? Uh, you're not getting upset, are you? I'd be upset if they'd been discussing my health behind my back. Uh-huh. So? Uh, oh. No. I'd be even more upset if I thought one of my staff was lying to me. Mm. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't say anything. Well, why not? Why not what? I asked you a question. Did you? Are you going to answer it? Which one? Um... You see how calm I am? Yeah. That's good, Max. Well, it's not going to last. Hello. Uh, no, sorry, Doctor. Oh, that's great news. Red! Uh, no, 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 not you, Doctor. Sorry. Thank you. I couldn't be happier. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Max, what you doing? Checking on Higgins. He's fine. He's out with Carol. Now, what can I do to help? Help with what? You know, around the barn. I don't need any more help. You found Higgins. Found him? Was he lost? Only for a little while. But don't get mad, okay? If I want to get mad, I'll get mad. And I'll lift buckets and I'll wheel wheelbarrows and I'll catch a cold! Max, you have to stay calm. Um, the test came back negative. I don't have an ulcer. Oh, that's wonderful news. But how's your heart? My heart? We thought it was your heart. What? How did that happen? Well, I heard you and Mrs. Rake talking about you having an attack and I thought... Okay. I appreciate everyone's concern, but I was a lot less stressed when I was allowed to run my own stables! <sighs> yeah. I think I feel better. And put my binoculars away! Shouldn't you be packing up your stuff, Carol? You wouldn't want to leave anything behind. She's not going anywhere. We had a bet and she lost. I knew you couldn't go a whole day without running to your precious little club. But you cheated. You stole Higgins. So? Nothing in the bet said that I couldn't. Veronica, are you sure you want me to wrap her legs? This is a bet's a bet. <laughs> hey, Ashley. 
Have you been helping Veronica take care of Garnet today? No. Yes. Veronica was timing to see how fast I could groom Garnet and polish her tack. I was really fast, wasn't I? <coughs> well, I guess we both lost. So either you both leave or you both stay. What do you think, Veronica? I guess that means you stay. <laughs> <laughs>